Hi, thanks for stopping by. Today we are looking at the Digimon card game. Starter deck. Parallel World Technician. This is a uh, series is S10. This is for six and up uh, ages. This is an English version. If you look here, it gives you a breakdown. This might give you a breakdown of, uh, looks like it gives you just a series of what they're all called. Because we are looking at series 10 here. On the back side of the pack, you see this. It tells you a little bit about it. Digimon cards, you pay more. You pay more memory cost to play or dissolve these cards. So it kind of just gives you a kind of a breakdown. Um, this deck contains a ready-to-play 54 card deck, memory uh, gauge card 2, and index card 3. Since this is a starter deck, it might not have a booster pack. So this might just be the same as anything else. But this is a, hey, you want to play this game, hit it. Um, I will see if there are any price guides to this. This is from Bandai. And if the cards do follow, if you are new to the channel, you'll see car, uh, price pop up. But remember, folks, I have to emphasize this enough. Prices are only good for when I make this video and I post it. Don't look at this if you see the date was a month ago, a year ago. The prices are completely wrong now. So whenever someone makes a video and go, oh my god, these, you know, this is the prices, this is the prices, this is the prices, and then they're just trying to fool you to go buy these or try to buy these and sell these, pay attention to when they released it um, because that's the critical junction on how pricing works. Pricing is just like the stock market. Prices go up and, and down. They fluctuate. Just keep that in mind when you do buy cards. All right? Unless you're buying them to play or if you're buying them to collect, um, that's a totally different bargain. You know, like, so if you see the card's pricey, if you're just trying to buy the card, wait to wait a couple months, it'll go down. All right, so we're going to open it up. Okay, so it's a pre-designed pack. This is what you get right here. Nothing else is in the box. And it's just cardboard. And then, you know, you get a little plastic holder for it if you wanted. We are going to open this up here. It has a little wrap here on it. We're gonna try to be gentle because I'm using the a nice the Pokemon. If you watch Pokemon Week, um, I got this really nice play mat here um, that I'm I'm using here. Okay, so let's let's just open. Let's just take a look at these. Slide it up here so you can see better. I've never looked at one of these cards before yet, so we're gonna kind of look at it together here. Um, looks like it has its little logo up there, DGI for Digimon, and then the card number. This is card number one, so it's ST, ST, let's use the scissors on the side. You can see that the series for this one is ST10. This is card number one, all right? So, and this is a, well, I can't pronounce that at all, so I'm not going to try. And then you have, it's a level two. It looks like it evolved because it's the level two version of it. And since we got a starter deck, you will find whenever you buy starter decks, let's do that. Whenever you buy starter decks, you will find they always have doubles, triples, quadruples. This is the game is meant for you to play. That's why you're getting these uh, multiple cards. All right, here's a new card. Sell them. Number two. It's card number two. So we get number card number two in this set. There's. Card number three in the set. And this is weird. Same card. There we... Yeah, it's not like in my... Uh... It has a weird shadow to the card. You know, it's hiding behind the tree. Interesting that we're just getting them in order. Okay, here is... It's a hollow. It's like a hollow version. Big claws. I like that card. Uh, this is card number four. I really do like it. And I, you get two. This would be just crazy if the deck just gives you all the cards. Just, you know, that there's no boosters. It looks like that's the case. This is card number five. Was the last one four? Yeah. Sorry to keep falling. This is another hollow. 
you get another one of them. It's, it has a really nice gold. I, I really like the, the gold border around that card. It's number, number five. Here's another one. It's a different one. So this one's not gold. It's, it's more of a silver. It's more of a silver. You can see that. And you get it again. looks like you just it's just basically giving you the numbers in the cards is number seven and you get like four of those probably number eight at least the graphics are kind of cool i mean um i saw you know there's other ones where you have the same colors but at least the purple and the white I, I has a nice i kind of dig the the balance on it. These are cards are made in Japan. It's card number nine. Got another one. And another one. Card number ten, you probably get four of. Looks like that's the theme. You get four of each of the regulars. Card number one. I meant card number 11, not number 1. Alright, here's another hollow. So you get a few of those. That is number 12, right after 11. And then card 13. You get four of her. Since in a theme here that you get, you know, either four or two. Here's a, another hollow-ish. I like the chaos there, number 14. And then you get four, you know, it usually gives you four of the other type, which is 15. Okay, now we're finally out of going in order. This is card 108 from a different series. BT2 108 Night Raid. And then they give you this card, which is a hard plastic. It's not a card. Um, and then they give you this one as well. Backside is like, it looks like it's supposed to be metal, but it's not. Again, it's, it's a, like a hard plastic. And then if you need a deposit and you want to read, I'll let you. Here's instructions on how to play the game if you were going to play the game. Oh. There you go. Does anyone else, um, did anyone else buy the starter deck? Does anyone else have the full set? Starter decks are a little bit different because they don't have... There's no, the, the excitement isn't really there because you know what you're getting. If you, if you read the little pack on the side, it would have told you exactly what cards that you're getting, but we bought it for, so you can, so we can look at it and kind of see what the cards even look like to see, you know, like what's, what's the drawings look like closest, you know? So, you know, we wanted to look at the detail of the cards and knowing full well, we were going to get multiple copies of each card you know like so you know we we wanted to see what's out there we wanted to see hey what do these cards look like um if you're on for collecting purposes for if you were like hmm, should i buy these to play these uh do i want to play these do i want to teach my kid how to play um do i want to play this with my uh, you know significant other it's just you know it's it's my friends it's it's all of that helping you decide whether or not you want these let us know in the comments below what, what you think. Does anyone else have the full collection? Does anyone else play? Thanks for watching. Stay collected. Hi, thanks for watching that last video. If you liked it, why don't you hit the like button? If you don't want to miss out on further content, please subscribe or maybe check out the video over here.